Most Americans know that a good credit score is crucial for reaching financial goals, but for some, boosting their score is a tough challenge. Wink News reporter Esley Davis tells us about a local woman who made it happen. I was like, oh my God, maybe this house can come sooner than later. For Sierra Burks, the journey to accomplishing her financial goals began one year ago with just a simple motivation. My number one motivation was to buy a home. But there was one hurdle standing between her and her dream house, her credit score. I didn't have a lot of loans under my name or I didn't have a lot of revolving credit. It's not taught in schools. It's it's not taught, it's not basic knowledge to everybody. Most people think that they have a bad credit score and that they have to live with that forever, but not the case. For Burks, the fix was utilizing her credit. Instead of paying for everything cash, she applied for two new credit cards to establish a good credit history that would reflect to lenders she's capable of paying back on time. It was at a 600, maybe a 605, and then by the winter time, I jumped to about a 725, 730. And just one year later, her dream home is becoming a reality. And for Sierra, closing day is just around the corner. Uh, I'm, I'm excited and, and happy, and I can't wait till closing. <laughs> to boost your credit score, experts recommend setting up automatic payments since one late payment will drop your score about 100 points and not maxing out your credit cards. Keep your balances under 30%. It's also a good idea to monitor your credit report for any errors, like a loan you don't remember taking out, which could be lowering your credit score. Esley Davis, Wink News.